Hi, I'm here with Andrew Kitchen and he's going to tell us a little bit about boat building. He's made this gorgeous boat here. So Andrew, how are you today? I'm very well. Great, yes. thanks for being part of our video. Oh, I'm happy to. So um, tell us a little bit about the boat. Well, this is, um, this is a thing called a J2 Yawl. It's designed by Ian Otred, who's um, here from Scotland at this, um, at this show. In fact, a number of his designs are around this area. Uh -huh. um, and this is one of his designs. Um, basically um, glued lap straight there these plywood these planks are plywood um, and they glued edge basically glued at the edges here um, to produce the hull uh -huh. um, and I've tried in this boat there people take different approaches to these boats and some make them make them look very modern and use a lot of modern materials I've tried to keep it real traditional looking so you know everything it even though it's not really a design that could have been built in the 19th century because they didn't have glues like this, like Gorilla Glue, I guess. Um, but uh, I've tried to keep everything else very traditional. So whatever I could use leather rather than plastic or bronze rather than stainless steel, I've used them. Right. And even the rope, although it looks old fashioned, is actually a modern polyester rope okay. designed to look like traditional rope. That's excellent. Same with the sails. Red sails are kind of traditional on fishing boats. Okay. This is basically um, designed on the model of traditional Shetland Island fishing boats. Um, so it's kind of a modern interpretation of that style of, of boat. Great. And uh, so I've tried to keep to that kind of tradition. Well, it's certainly a beautiful yeah. boat. How long did it take you to build this boat? Um, I probably two years I was working on it. Okay. Maybe a, so a couple of thousand hours. Probably. Wow. And have you built many boats? Before this, I haven't. But since I've done this one, I've built two more. So great. Once you start. You can't stop. You can't stop. Yep. And do you take this boat out very often into the water? Oh yes, in the summer I, I use it fairly regularly. Right. Yes. Yeah. Um, I haven't. It hasn't been out this year because I've been getting it ready for the show. But uh -huh. so once I get home, yes, it'll be out sailing. Great. And where is home? Uh, Rochester, New York. Excellent. So we sail mainly on Lake Ontario. Okay. But I've also had it on the East Coast. It's, this boat sailed around in, on. Martha's Vineyard, and it's even sailed here in the harbor here at oh, Mystic. Great. So, uh, yes, she's, she's been around. Great. Does she have a name? Yes, she's the Nina S. Benjamin. The Nina S. Benjamin. Which is named after grandchildren. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> you can't go wrong. Uh, yes. <laughs>